And it, it's interesting, though, because I think in some instances it might be preferable to be anonymous <laughs> than it would be to be known for this kind of dancing. I'll take a look at the premiere. <laughs> I mean, at least he's not kissing a baby, right? <laughs> It's up there with that, I think. I mean, it is up there. I mean, look, let's face it, Dom Dominic Perrottet, if, if you don't know so much about him outside of the state of New South Wales, he has about 50 kids. I mean, I think it's about seven. So he's rightfully earned the Daggy Dad title. Like, he has earned that. And to be honest, I think it's, it's a bit of fun. It makes it relatable. But, Erin, apparently this was hand yoga. Now, that's not like any yoga I've done. They, they, I didn't see a downward dog in hand there, but this is hand yoga. yoga that he's done with the seniors. That so. actually sounds like something I could really get behind <laughs> because I suspect it's easier than the kind of yoga that I've tried before. Hey, what about the Royals? Mm. It caused a lot of uproar this week when mm. it was announced that their daughter would carry a royal title in terms mm. of princesses. This is Harry and Meghan, obviously. They've now defended the decision. I thought they had despised the royal family well, for vengeance. Every move they've made in the last couple of years would suggest that. I mean, the tell-all book, the Oprah interview, the Netflix hate special that they produce <laughs> on the royal family, everything screams, we hate this institution. Mm. And yet, they're demanding that their children have royal titles. I mean, it screams that sort of hypocritical entitlement that they've now become so well known for and that South Park does such a great job sending them up for. I mean, I can't wait to see episode two on this issue about princess and princesses. But look, the kids shouldn't uh, shouldn't be punished for the sins of their no. father or their mother, so to speak. It just freaks of hypocrisy, which I don't think any of us like. What was the book called again? Wow. <laughs> <What? laughs> <laughs> oh, Caroline Marcus, we would never describe anything you said like that. Mind you, if we were on Breakfast Radio, the word you used earlier <laughs> probably would have dumped you and the segment, but I love that you did. <laughs> Thank you so much for bringing us up to date with everything so Pleasure. far.